is to be joined today on primetime local news by Dr. Sheila Apovu. Sheila is with the Alberta Society of Radiologists. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Well, Sheila, October was Breast Cancer Awareness Month and a very important month. Can you tell me some of the initiatives that you guys uh, took during that month and also what is kind of planned as we head into the future here? Um, thank you for asking. Um, well, the Alberta Society of Radiologists uh, sent uh, information and posters to about 3,000 referring physicians and even MLAs. Uh, and uh, they're sending, they sent out uh, information and messaging on Breast Cancer Awareness Month to various media outlets and social media outlets. So we're, you know, trying to get the word out, especially regarding the exciting news in Alberta regarding breast cancer screening. Well, let's talk, Sheila, about the clinical practice guidelines. Um, that's something that we really want to promote and let women know what is available to them. So can you tell me about that? Yes, uh, thank you for asking. The um, exciting news in Alberta is that the uh, age of initiation of breast cancer screening, including invitation to screening, start, has been dropped from 50 to 45. So now women can expect to get an invitation letter starting at age 45 up to age 74 every other year. And um, so this is a really progressive move from Alberta, and uh, it's uh, now one of the best provinces in the country for screening for women in their 40s. And when it comes to actually getting those appointments and, and referrals, uh, how does that work? So um, starting at age 40, so 40 to 44, you can get screened uh, if you would like to have a mammogram. Uh, you just need to have a requisition from your primary health care provider uh, between ages 40 and 44. And we recommend between ages 40 and 44, you should go every year once you've got that requisition. And you, once you've had that first request, uh, you don't need another one. So you can self-refer every year between age 40 and 44, as long as you've had that first requisition from your primary health care provider. Now, as of the mid middle of October, women aged 45 and up can go to their radio, call their radiologist's office or call their screening program office and get a, um, a make an appointment and they don't need a request. Um, the program will take probably a few weeks to months to actually roll out. So within the next few months, women age 45 and up, uh, age 45 and up, uh, can start expecting to receive that invitation letter in the mail. So you will be actively recruited, which is wonderful. Now, there is a website, screeningforlife.ca, where women can go and, and it's a, basically a risk assessment that's there. Tell me about that and, and how that works. So uh, if you go to screeningforlife.ca, which is an Alberta Health Services website, uh, there is a, um, a questionnaire and you can, uh, there's uh, a very simple set of questions to answer and it'll give you an idea of your risk level and and there are some modifiable risks in there that are um, things that you can change in your lifestyle to uh, change your risk level and well, so it's really educational as well well uh, thanks for that information that's very important Sheila and will there be community clinics attached to any of this Community clinics, uh, community radiologists in Alberta actually serve more than 90% of the screening in Alberta. Uh, so certainly community um, radiology practices are, are, are going to be serving a significant proportion of the, the women who are screening and, and always have. Um, and um, so uh, it, it's sort of the same as, as always. If you uh, want to get a mammogram, you can call up your radiologist's office and um, see if you can book one if you're in the right age group. Um, and uh, as always, there is also the parallel provincial screening program, which works in uh, coordination with, um, with the screening program as well. Now, we've gone through a lot of information uh, in this interview, Sheila. So if people are trying to find maybe, you know, some place where they can get it all in one place, uh, obviously, I know they can speak with their radiologist but is there a place online where they can look for some of the guidelines and also, you know, talk, we talked about the screening and, and everything too. What's the, the best place to go to get all of the information? Um, so, well, screeningforlife.ca is a very um, good all-in-one uh, website. 
uh, the Alberta Society of Radiologists has a website um, as well. And so if you Google the Alberta Society of Radiologists um, breast screening, uh, you may be able to find that website. Um, there's a lot of information on screening. I would recommend people stick to reliable sources um, like screeningforlife.ca. Uh, there's, um, you know, uh, and also, as you said, ask a radiologist. We're all, you know, happy to talk and um, uh, would love to answer questions uh, about what's appropriate. Well, thank you so much for your time today. This is such an important issue and we really appreciate speaking with you. And uh, let's chat again, because this is something I think we need to keep reminding women of, uh, especially as you know they keep going. You talked about the age changes and everything. So I'd love to chat with you again and, and we can keep everybody up to date on what uh, radiologists are doing in Alberta. Thank you very much. I'd be happy to oblige anytime.